All right, so it looks like Justin Trudeau has finally admitted that he actually made a mistake and he's going to apparently do something to fix it. Now, that's also if you believe him or not, which I think most people don't. However, he did put out a tweet today from the Liberal Party saying, we're going to significantly reduce the number of immigrants coming to Canada for the next two years. This is temporary, to pause our population growth and let our economy catch up. Thought we had such a great economy. It's what Christian Freeland keeps saying. Maybe you want to communicate that to her. We have to get all the systems working right for Canadians. Okay, so what's he going to do? Pause immigration completely and let it catch up or at least, you know, like really hone in on it? Nope. Here's what he's going to do. He's going to reduce it by about 90,000 people. So we're still going to be bringing in like, I believe that we're on track to bring in more than like four or 500,000 people, if not even closer to a million. And he's basically going to drop it by 10, 20%. Okay, I mean, that's not going to allow our economy to keep up. All this is, is a desperate attempt for Justin Trudeau to regain some of his support. And even when he thinks he's helping, he's not helping nearly enough. 90,000? I mean, they're barely building enough houses to keep up with that. Let alone the fact that you're, you're talking about hundreds of thousands of people here. I believe last year they brought in a million people. So even if they increased it by two or decreased it by 200,000 people, 20%, not enough. You're still going to have 800,000 people coming in here. I mean, that's just, that's, that's insane. And, but again, he wants to put a nice spin on the fact that he's destroyed everything. And now he's going to reduce that destruction by 20%. And we're all supposed to be happy and cheerful and oh justin trudeau's our leader it's absolute nonsense by the way he also mentions it's only temporary so in two years after they don't build anywhere near enough houses especially affordable housing they're just going to let in a million people a year again back in the country so as soon as he gets his support back he's just going to open the floodgates and let everyone come in again it's i mean this is such a stupid desperate attempt and i can't believe anyone's actually going to fall for this the only people who are going to look at this and like it are people who already think that Justin Trudeau is doing a good job somehow. And yes, those people do exist. I know it's hard to believe. It's hard to even imagine that. But there are a lot of people who still think, and they're not just government employees. They're average, regular people who are suffering, and they're still going to go with this guy. This will help them sleep better at night. But if you're undecided or if you're strongly against Trudeau, this isn't going to help you. It's just, it's just lip service. That's all this is. It's just, hey, look, something sounds nice. We're going to reduce one of our biggest problems. But they're not doing it nearly enough. Not even close. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Is this a good idea? Is this going to be enough to help? Or do you think this is just more lip service from our stupid-ass prime minister? Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps uh, grow this channel. And I do appreciate all of you all, appreciate all of you who are already subscribed. If you're not, please drop the like and the subscribe. And I will be back thank, uh, very shortly with another video. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. Take care.